there's been a lot of change happening between North Korea and the world recently. So how did we get here? It started with a speech. New Year's Day 2018, North Korean leader Kim Jong-un signaled he'd be willing to send athletes to the Winter Olympics in the South. Just six weeks later, they were there, competing, in some cases as one team, marching under one flag. Then there were talks between the North and the South, the highest profile in years. And then this. President Trump appreciated the briefing and said he would meet Kim Jong-un by May. Putting in motion a potential meeting between Kim Jong-un and U.S. President Donald Trump. So what changed? This would have been unthinkable last year when North Korea was launching missiles and testing nuclear devices. That's Will Ripley, an international correspondent with CNN, who's reported from North Korea more than a dozen times. Now there's been this breathtaking about face. Kim Jong-un wants to stay in power for many decades to come. And in order to do that, he feels that right now the best course of action is diplomacy. And that's what we're seeing him do. Sanctions impacting trade also seem to be playing a big role here, especially with China on board. According to reports um, coming out of China uh, and the border between China and North Korea, the trade between the two countries has been decreasing over the last several months, and most people attribute that to sanctions. Lisa Collins is a political analyst specializing in Korean relations. Perhaps that explains this. An unprecedented visit by Kim Jong-un to Beijing, his first known trip out of North Korea since becoming leader in 2011. As quickly as things have changed in this direction, we always need to keep in mind they can change in the other direction as well. We have seen this movie play out in the past, where North Korea has opened up after times of tension, diplomacy has looked very promising, and then the situation has spiraled back downward. Does Kim want more bargaining power or more money flowing into North Korea? It's hard to say, maybe both. One thing that there's no question about is that North Korean relations have changed. The next question is, whether they will last.